Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's me, Fernando's Mermaid Books. And I wanted to tell you guys that this video will be a book outlet unboxing video. So I'm very excited. Now, if the, you see that, you know, this is a different background, it's because I'm not in my room, I'm in the living room. So yeah, if you do hear like game, uh, like gaming sounds in the background, it's my sister, she's just playing Sims. So yeah. I'm very excited to start this because I forgot what books I bought. I know that I did buy two books for my friend, so that leaves two books out. But I don't know what's in here, and I wanted to open the box with you guys because, you know, it's very excited. Excited. It's very exciting to open a book outlet box with all your baby KK. Now I'm gonna open this with my handy dandy knife and it's so sharp. But yeah, um, let's open the, oh, that's my address. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna like, you know, you know, just pick out and yeah, we'll just see what happens from there. Okay, so I opened the box up and I do see a few books in here, which I'm so excited to show you. But yeah, the first book in here is Hatched, the book, oh, the big push from pregnancy to motherhood. Now, okay, long story short, when I was um, back in uh, middle school, middle school it was, I read this, uh, these picture books by the author Sloan. Tannen, I think she wrote a Pokemon book, which I read back then, and I don't remember if these books are for kids, because, I mean, it literally says the big push from pregnancy to motherhood, and I do see, like, a little chick in the background with, like, pills, so I don't know. It's so funny, because, like, there's so many funny pictures, and I do remember reading this in middle school, so... I really want to read this and just enjoy it. I know there's so many other books that sh the same author did with the same chicks and like more books. And I want to, you know, read all of them because I mean, why not? Like just to relive the moment. And I laughed my butt talks off back in middle school when I was reading these books. So Hatched is the first one. Okay, the next book here is Bitter with Baggage Seeks the Same, The Life and Times of Some Chicks by the same author, oh, Sloan Tannen. Um, look at the chicks, they're just so cute. Like, I just love the author and how she did these books. Like, they are so cute. Like, look at the little chicks. So cute. But yeah, they are short books. I'm gonna read them next year, hopefully. I just want to collect all the books because this author just brings me joy like all the books she's done I mean I haven't read all of them but like a lot of these books I just laughed my buttocks off but yeah this book too the next book I see here is Charlotte's Web by E.B. White I've never I don't recall reading the book. I've seen the movie. I think I've read the book in elementary school. I am not sure. You know, with elementary school, I don't remember that much in books. But I remember reading a bunch, a ton of books. Like, for example, like The Bridge to Terabithia, Narnia. But I remember something about Charlotte's Web. And I did see the movie recently with my mother, like two months ago. And I wanted to pick it up and it was so cheap on Book Outlet. And this is the 60th anniversary edition, but forwarded by Kate DiCamillo. I think Kate DiCamillo was the, the author who wrote either Call Me Maria or Because of Win Dixie. So I'm gonna just, you know, do my search on that. But yeah, it's a short middle grade book and I, or children's book and I cannot wait to read it or reread it. So I don't know, but I just want to read it. It's such a beautiful story about a girl and a pig who become friends. So yeah. Okay, the next book I have here is The Voyage to the to Magical North. Now, I saw this book in Book Ella and it was so cute. I love the, like, the cover is just stunning. Like, look at the cover. And it is a legendary ship, an epic rivalry, a race to treasures untold, 
and tentacles, lots of tentacles, set sail on an unforgettable adventure. So I don't know if this is young adult or middle grade. It does look like it could be middle grade, but either way, I did like the premise of the story. So I'm very excited to read this book too. The next book I have here is Of Witches and Wind, The Ever Afters. I think this is book two. Oh, wow, this is book two. I think, I don't know if I bought the first book, but it's supposed to be like a, a young adult or middle grade series where there's like these kids who, sorry, who enter like a magical world and there's like a snow witch, I think. So I don't know, like I'm... A, I hope I bought the first book because I'm so sad if literally I bought the second book and now I'm gonna have to buy this you know the first book so yeah the next book I have here is a fierce and subtle poison by Samantha M Mabry I've seen this all around booktube recently like literally I see I've seen it on book outlet but I was like that's a beautiful cover but <clears throat> As soon as I started going on booktube, I saw everyone buying it. So it's like so about a girl who is in the forest and she's green, I think. Kind of like Poison Ivy-esque. But I'm very excited to read this book because everyone on booktube like kept talking about it. And I'm very excited to read it because, first of all, the cover is gorgeous. And <clears throat> I do love plants. So, yeah. The next book I have here is a manga series, well, a manga book. It's called Blooms Into You by Nakata Tani Neo. Now, oh, story in the art. So this, I think, is a lesbian LGBT manga romance. So, I, I mean, it kind of looks obvious, but I'm so in love with, like, those cute romance type mangas. And... This is the first volume, so I don't know how many there are. I think there's like nine out so far, I think. But it's so cute. Like, I like the premise of it, so why not read, you know, the first book and see where it leads me. So, yeah. Oh, wow. The next book I have here is The Bridge to Terabithia. It's the... Uh, I read this back in elementary, I think, or middle school i don't remember but it was i did see i did see some of the movie and it's sad like the like i don't know i'm not gonna spoil anything but it's just sad um it's about this like magical world and uh, yeah it's a bridge to this new um this magical world and it's by katherine patterson so the bridge to terabithia or bridge to terabithia because i don't see a the so yeah, it's also a short book. It's a children's or middle grade, but oh, there's also illustrations. Kind of like how it was in Charlotte's Web, but I'm very excited to reread this book again. So, yeah. The next book I have here is Jonah by Nikki Kelly. It's book three, and I think it's the final book to the Stiklar saga. And oh my goodness, this guy is fine. But I have the first two books, which is Gabriel and Lila. And it's like an angel post-apocalyptic world. And I'm so excited to read the trilogy now. I was just waiting for the third book to come out because I don't like waiting for books to come out. I just want to like get them all and read them. So I'm very excited to read this book, um, Jonah. So yeah. The next book I have here, it's shorter than I thought. And it has deco edges, which I'm excited about. It's called The Secret Horses of Briar Hill by Megan Shepherd. Wait, Megan Shepherd? She's the one that wrote, um, doesn't say. Wait a minute, Megan Shepherd. I've, I've heard of her. I don't remember from where, but it's such, I bought this book because of the cover, but I did read the premise of it and I love the premise. So hopefully I enjoy this book. It's not too long, but Hopefully I enjoy it because I really love the, 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 the premise and synopsis and it's such a cute cover Like oh my goodness the next book I have here is another manga book and I did um, I did do some research on it And I think there's only six books out or eight and this is called Kokoro Connect by Sedanatsu Anda 
and Kuteg. So this is book one, and I just love the manga covers. And um, yeah, like I said, it's a manga, and I think it's supposed to be like a technological world, like a future where there's like technology advancements. I think I don't know. I read the synopsis way long ago but it's about these oh i remember now it's about these friends i think there's like five of them and they keep switching bodies so i think i understand it now so it's about like con uh you know going to someone else's body and you know finding out what the heck is happening so kokoro connect so yeah the next book i have here is book scavenger by jennifer chambliss bertman and it says here, Book Scavenger, where life is a game and books are the tokens. So I bought this book. Oh, look at the deck of edges. I bought this book specifically because it talks about books. And I love my books. So a hidden book, a found cipher, a game begins. So I'm very excited to start this. Like, <laughs> no joke. <laughs> like, it's so beautiful. And the cover is so, like... I don't know. I just like it a lot. Oh my gosh, look at the look at the book naked. Um the last book I have here, because yeah, nothing else. So the last book I have here is the second book to Kokoro Connect, which is the second volume. And ooh, things are starting to look so worrisome. So like I said, it's a manga, so I'm very excited to start this. But yeah, I'm sad because the book um, I ordered that was like the second book of Ice and Fire or something like that, I, I didn't order the first book. So I'm dumb, but that's how I am. So hopefully I buy the, uh, the first book so I can start the book series because I want to start it. But yeah, for now, um, that's my book outlet box. I bought 15 books, but oh yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I bought from my friend. So, I bought the Demiga Diaries and the Trials of Apollo, both from Rick Riordan. I already have these two books, but I bought them for my friend because it was her birthday recently, and they are so beautiful. I can't wait to start this one and this one too, but yeah, like, they're both from Rick Riordan, the god of mythology, so yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!